All right, this is the FL Sun QQ Delta 3D printer. In a previous video, I went through the unboxing and the build process of the printer. It took about 25 minutes to assemble out of the box. And here I'm gonna go through the configuration for the first print on the printer itself. So one thing I overlooked when unboxing is it comes with a European style power cable, which I knew wouldn't be a problem because I have a lot of US standard cables laying around. So I just used one of those, I plugged it in and I didn't get any power right away. Immediately I knew exactly what it was. Power supply was set to 220 instead of 110. So about five minutes I took the bottom off the printer, switched that over and had it back together. And sure enough, I was able to power on it after that. And the first thing I noticed when I powered on the printer is the language for the menus is set to Chinese. So I didn't see anything in the instruction manual on how to change that, but it was pretty easy to figure out. So I just went to the settings here, went to the globe and then chose English and backing out of there, everything's now set to English. And the first step that they have you doing in the manual is homing the printer. So we can do that by going into tools and then home and then all. And that brings the assembly up to the home position. So now the next step is preheating the printer. This is something you want to do before doing the auto level. The reason for that is you want the temperatures of the hot end and the bed to be as close to actual print temperatures when doing the auto level, just because of expansion and contraction uh, with temperature changes, you want it to be as close as possible. So here's the print surface that the printer comes with. It's a plasticky material with 3M tape on the back. We'll put that on after we're done doing the level. So first off, we're gonna peel off this backing and we'll preheat by going to tools, preheat. Now the increments here are set to one degree Celsius. So what we're gonna do is just bump that up to 10 degrees at a time. And then the extruder temperature we can set to 200, which is just about the starting point for uh, if you're printing PLA. Another thing to take note of here is when you press extruder, you'll see a second extruder that's not something that's used on this printer, but it's part of the firmware. And then we'll go over to bed and we can set that to 70. And we'll go back to the main menu and wait for that to heat up. Now that the print bed and the extruder have reached the temperatures we set them to, we'll go ahead and start the auto level process. Now the way that the auto leveling works on this printer specifically is it uses a conductive surface here on the build plate and there's a wire that runs up to the extruder and will go through the tip and when that touches down, it will complete the circuit. So we'll go ahead and start the level process by going to tools and then auto level. All right, so now with the auto level process complete, we can go ahead and get our build surface and peel off the backing and stick that on. Now, before you do this, you wanna make sure you clear the bed of any debris and the preheated bed actually helps with the adhesive sticking. So we'll go ahead and get that as center as possible. Stick 
stick it on. Okay, now we're ready to print.